Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stars. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, we gotta talk about Slarion Grinch Mouth Ball Slurper. In the last live that she did, we also gotta talk about the recording that she did with the original Straight No Chaser, but we're not really gonna talk about that in this video. I think I'm gonna go live to discuss that because I'm, I, 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 I just, I've had enough, y'all. I've, I've absolutely had enough. Mel, hit me up okay hit me up mail babe whatever you need i'm telling you love hit me up i know the people that be in an a okay whatever you need all right because i'm tired of this bro it's it's absolutely insane like i just don't like dumb ass women i don't like muling stupid women that are male centered and literally do anything for men this girl got two kids and continue to go on live social media wherever she can get any type of attention she goes there and she completely embarrasses herself and her bloodline now don't get it twisted i'm gonna make the money up off you if you ain't gonna do it but i think this woman along with her baby daddy y'all know male's baby mama need to be a case study because there's nobody in this world that can convince me that this girl is not slow and that's why her son act the way that he do because both his parents is slow and fortunately enough Paris have her daddy who probably is not as slow but a little slow because he still managed to lay up with a broad like this now slaw hey ho because i know you be watching my channel especially now that i got the name drop from mel what it do love see because you was walking around here saying that mel was an old bitch even though y'all were only five years apart and now you in your 30s and i happen to be 25 years old i still think you're an idiot i think you're a fool i think you look stupid i think you pathetic i think i would never in my life put myself in a situation like this at 25 years old and you like to blame things on your age like you were all oh i was young i was young well love the young girls think you dumb the young girls not even going for that the young girls not getting sucked out and played and muled on the way you are i'm sorry you ain't getting muled on you doing all the muling but you definitely getting pissed on but I'm sorry y'all I digress because I don't like this broad and I always somehow some way get very annoyed and want to call her every name in the book okay but we not here for that we are here because you watch my channel you remember the day that I was talking about that video that you had on your Instagram with your daughter and she threw that damn phone at you I remember that y'all get in the comments and y'all remember if I told y'all that in one of my videos that Slarion had a video with Paris when Paris was younger she threw a damn phone at her mama so and then I remember telling y'all that it seemed like all her kids beat her ass like that because in my opinion she's a lazy parent she doesn't really know how to mother she's lazy in my opinion like of course she does the basics but she's a lazy mother that's my opinion why do I think that because the way her children behave that's why I think she's a lazy mother furthermore the boy is walking around with pull-ups on look y'all I said the boy I ain't even say baby slaw congratulate me in the comments but the boy walking around with pull-ups on and she was the same one on live saying that her mama is trying to potty train Knox okay look I said his name y'all y'all happy congratulate me in the comments but her mama is trying to potty train the boy but she be slipping on pull-ups on him at night because she don't want to deal with it that's lazy parenting like literally your mama raising your son sorry y'all look I'm digressing again but we are here because I went back on your page today, Slarion, and I want y'all to go back on this broad page as well. And y'all let me know what y'all see from the video that I'm about to show y'all. Because I wanted to go back on your page to find that video so I can showcase it in this video to prove that you ain't never been teaching your children to say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. And they always been dogging your ass, and you a lazy ass mama, and they be whooping your ass, and they be mad that you do not feed them on time. They be mad, and parents be 
been mad that you've been putting walkie talkie before her since he came in your life and it go and it shows based on that video baby slaw mad at your ass too that's why he always beating you up you always putting his daddy before him. So y'all, I'm going to show the video proving that Slarion was never teaching Paris manners prior to Mel teaching her children manners and really Slarion having a baby with walkie talkie and it's being night and day between Sugar Mama and her son. It's clear as day, Sugar Mama is articulate. She's smart. She's been potty trained. She communicates well. She's well mannered. I mean, I, she's always happy. I can go on and on and on. All male kids say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Not just the baby one. You get what I'm saying? The eldest ones say that as well. So the point that I'm going to make in this video is you've never taught your daughter that or else parents. Paris would have been saying yes ma'am and no ma'am. Now, Slarion, I am going to assume that you would never do your daughter like this, so please don't do your daughter like this, but do you need me to pull up every video or live that you've had Paris in to prove that you've never taught that girl manners for real? And I'm only being honest, she only knows what her mother is going to teach her, so if you around her bad mouthing male, talking about the show, talking about your man, your baby daddy this, your baby daddy that, what do you think Paris is going to pick up on? I don't know if y'all remember, but when I used to see her lives Paris used to always be in grown people business and I'm not gonna say nothing other than I don't like that but again that just that's how she raises her daughter like even Tisha kids don't seemingly be in grown folks business the way that I um Slarion daughter is in grown folks business like that girl be talking about people, grown people's business versus Tisha kids where it seemed like Tisha probably talk about grown people around her children and so her children act funny around those grown people that she talk around. But Slarion daughter takes it a step further. And in my opinion, it seems as though she is very mouthy about some of the things that her mother chooses to speak on around her. What many talking about? I don't want to talk to Minnie. You talk to Minnie. Talk to Minnie, No, you talk to Minnie. Who are you talking to? Ha ha, bitch. Because I recorded this video two weeks ago. Then I spoke about it on my live without showcasing it. And then I wanted to go back instead of going through my archive of receipts on your ass. I wanted to just go through on your Instagram and find it again. But I realized y'all this hoe took the sound off after I made my video about her daughter calling her Arion and disrespecting her and throwing this phone at her big ass head. Y'all, I'm going to play the video for y'all again and I'm going to make a short of her daughter calling her Arion, not no damn yes ma'am, no ma'am. Her daughter is calling her Arion. And excuse me, let me calm down. The only reason I'm annoyed is because, Slaw, I don't know if you know, I am a psych Oh, okay. When stuff don't make sense or line up to me, I am going to dig and dig and dig until I find the facts. So the fact that you took that sound off really pissed me off because, ho, why would you take the sound off? Speaking of you taking the sound off, in that story that you made, you was like, I don't have nothing to lie about. I did not participate in a plot. I don't know anything about a plot. Here is proof. This is silly as delusional, goofy as lying as hoe. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, she's a goofy as silly as delusional as lying as hoe. And then had the nerve to say I'm done entertaining the circus. So before I finish playing the live that she had, I just want y'all to know why is it that we can take anything that she says for what it is? Like this hoe at first said she knew nothing about the plot just to turn around and be talking about the plot. I can go on and on and on with the debuncture and it's sickening. Like I'm going to make so much money off this dumb ass hoe. It's not even funny. Just because you made me feel like I was tripping. Like I was really like, dang, like I know I heard this girl throw this phone at this woman and call her Ariane. Now, why is the sound off? Your ass went back and turned the sound off. So I'm going to make sure everybody remember, okay? 
that you are not that girl, right? You trying to teach that little boy over there some manners because we all know Sugar Mama is well, way over advanced than him, okay? And you embarrassed about that. But the reason why you embarrassed about that is because you try to compare yourself to Mill as if you're better than her, but the proof is in your children, love. <laughs> The proof is in your kids, babe. How you choose to discipline and care for, cater to your children is a reflection in how they show up in the world every day, no matter how small and big they are. And both of your kids show up in the world the way that you show up in the world, love. And that's raggedy as hell. Ain't that fucked up to say? I know. But somebody got to start being truthful and honest or else, because I'm tired of this hoe. Like, she's just delusional as hell. Like, you show up in the world raggedy as hell. And it's it shows on your kids. And I don't wish that for them. OK, but again, like I always say, if this is who these children are being raised by, what do we expect for them in the world? Like, how do we expect them to show up when they become adults? OK, anyways, what many talking about? I don't want to talk to many. You talk to many. Talk to many. No, you talk to many. Y'all, who was raising that baby? Who was raising her for her to call this girl Arion and throw the damn phone at her? I don't care what nobody say. Paris was born in chaos just like her damn brother. But I do wish the kids nothing but the best. Mommy. That's why they going to Zara Nasty. That's just Spider-Man, son. Because y'all just... Ugh. Oh, my No, ma'am. Okay. It's, it's some apple cider. You don't want it? Okay. 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 I don't think it's a, I, I, I don't know. I think it's a staffing thing. Uh, we, we, we not talking about no bullshit. We're not talking about we're not entertaining. No delusion, no women or anything. No, that's why we moving forward. Baby here's barely there, y'all. Y'all know that I didn't grow back. If you follow my Snapchat, I always pour into the girl.
years so regardless of what saturday it was and i brought up something and said whatever came for don't make it try to seem like i was somewhere checking for you that's all i'm saying about that that's right. two is y'all miss saying paris she heard anyway now y'all she'll be back Oh, she had. And she was like, my channel always be all the truth. My bitch, I lied. I was, y'all, it felt so good. Because y'all always try to play me. And I was able to get a bitch. Huh, Kim, what are you doing? No, you're not getting no, uh, carrots. You don't even like carrots. You don't have my refrigerator. Okay, but let's change the subject. Let's talk about something else. What, what did y'all do for the 4th of July? I just got back from Atlanta. Yesterday. I'm going back probably tomorrow. And I need my hair done. I need to get some in. I'm going to have to take these braids down. I haven't had for two weeks. Because my hair grows so fast. And this, to me, they look fuzzy a little bit already. But um, I don't like to keep them longer than three weeks anyway. Because that's just me. But, yeah. you and it's like some of y'all are like so crazy and so slow and so sick i can't differentiate shit i can't differentiate tv i can't differentiate your baby daddy so i can't expect y'all to get it yep the girls are gonna get it the ones that don't want it i wouldn't be 
me a bob too, but my stylus is in, um, excuse me, I love the bob too. My stylus is in New York right now. And I, I, I know there's a couple girls in Atlanta that can just get it right. That's how I want to get my hair done. I, okay, so let me check out last night. Okay, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. See, I'm going to take it the wrong way. But I can't, t I can't wait to let y'all know about last night. Mm. Do a Q&A for what? I don't do q and because bloggers like to chop and screw. I, we'd be talking about a whole other different subject and then they tag on to something we don't talk about. So I don't do q and A's. I get a lot when I talk about what I want to talk about. Um, I'm never dressing nothing else for because y'all do too much. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Kennedy is so good when she braided my hair. Oh, oh y'all know. You think the weight looks good on me, girl? I don't know if you're trying to lose. Like, as we speak, you need to be on a diet every day. But that shit hard. That shit hard, though. Especially when you ain't working out. Thank you, Bree. If I catch your comment, I feel like you're talking shit. Even if you're not, I'm sorry. I know, y'all always send me on the YouTube. Waist training. I wear mine every 10 hours a day. Um, let's talk about waist training. Because I don't feel like waist training works. But you see, if you waist training, you think it works, y'all got to let me know. But let's talk about waist training. Because I don't feel like waist training works. I feel like you have to lose the weight. And if you're not running and working out, it's no point of tying your waist up against the fat. It's not giving to me what it's supposed to give. So, so I'm going to take his outfit off, y'all. But I, like, I don't like waist training. And that, and that make me, I do have a waist trainer because I had got one. After Knox, after I had Knox, and got it, that's not, that makes me um, out of breath. Um, it's uncomfortable. I hate being uncomfortable. But if you know, it definitely works, and I love how it helps me not eat. You know? So, so at the beginning, how long is it when it's not uncomfortable? You feel like you can't breathe. Cause y'all, I can, I can waste strength. It burn fat, but does it burn fat when you're working out? Cause uh, -uh y'all, it's literally too much. Instagram keep on telling me add a moderator to your life. Y'all must be turned on here. I'm just on waist training and try to control my eating. Uh, I don't like to waist train. Try to waist train with the zipper. It's comfortable. I had that's the one I had. It zipped straight on up. It was so tight. I need one. Mm, y'all gotta get the filter on. Cause if I don't get the filter on, that'd be the worst of the worst of the worst. Wait, wait. Once y'all, when a blogger is catching me slipping, they catch me slipping. Cause I gotta get the filter on. Lashes, oh lashes are done. But um, I gotta get the filter on. Costume off already. Cause Knox did too much. Look at Knox. Waist beads help. Okay, I had some waist beads on. I'm on belt. I'm on belt. Okay, hold on, okay. Why do you take it off? Okay, why did you take it off? So why do you want to put it on if it's worth it? Why do you want to put it back on? The kids will sit up here and literally play in your face, y'all. My son will. And what I'm going to do, put that costume on 10 times a day. Is that what he wants? You in my city? You in Huntsville? Well, this ain't my city. It's, it's nap time, y'all, really. No. Yes. No. You know what that means, huh? I mean, yes. Okay, come on. Don't take it off, or I'll put it back on, okay? Okay. Oh, get off my head. 